Hello and welcome to things I know about animals. Now this beautiful creature is what's called a uh, flamenco. And um, now in, in captivity they're not allowed to have guitars, but in the wild you'll often find them uh, strumming rapidly, playing a very energetic uh, style of music that they invented and uh, graced the world with. Now one thing I've discovered in my years and years of research about rhinos is that they are expert ear wigglers. Did you catch that? Did you see those ears wiggle? Now you may be able to wiggle your ears, but you're no match for this rhino. He's the best. Now you'll note that these are a particular species of, uh, they're not exactly horses, but they do have some horse-like features, uh, particularly the way that their tails swing uh, together. That's something horses know how to do. Now, it's odd to me that few nature shows uh, point out the manatee's ability to be very still and float in midair. And not many animals can do that. Maybe a butterfly or a, a tree. Now, alligators are among the happiest of animals. They almost never frown. They seem to have a perpetual smile. And part of the reason for that is that their body naturally creates a, um, a delicious uh, gummy bear flavor that they constantly taste. It's very delicious and they love it. Now they're also, uh, they have quite long legs and you'll notice some of them are wearing pink stockings and some are wearing grey stockings and um, I'm not sure where, this one is quite excited um, or at least he was for a moment. Uh, the necks are long and uh, the beaks are uh, oddly shaped. You'll note that they've got uh, legs in the back and also in the front. That's uh, common to a lot of horses on planet Earth. This is the famous Komodo dragon. Now a feature this dragon features uh, is its tongue. It actually smells things with its tongue. However, oddly enough, its tongue doesn't smell. Now, don't misunderstand me. I, I mean, I don't mean that it doesn't smell with its tongue because it certainly does. I just mean that its tongue itself, the tongue itself doesn't smell, though it does smell. And, but w what's most distinct about this particular horse is that it's called a zebra. And a lot of it has to do with what you call it. If you call it a zebra, it might be. And uh, one of the ways you'll know for sure is if it's got these uh, stripy lines on it. Um, it's very, very common on zebras. Lot zebras you see are going to have those kinds of lines basically all over their whole body. Um, maybe not on their tongue, I'm not sure, but uh, for certain um, elsewhere. This beautiful creature is a ring tailed lemur. Ring tailed because their tails, when they wave them in the air, make a sort of uh, telephone ringing. Uh, call to the other lemurs in the pack. This is what they use to locate one another, literally to call each other with their tails. Fascinating. Uh, this is where the bobcat lives, yeah, but um, it's always a thoughtful thing to uh, consider that not, not all cats are named Bob. So before you go calling every old cat bobcat, you might want to look a little closer for Make sure there's not a name tag of some sort. Um, could be Sally or Charlie uh, or Will. Who knows? Not necessarily Bob. And uh, I am particularly have a heart for zebras. I really value and appreciate them. I like the way that they are and the things that they do. And I'm, um, yeah, very thankful to get to see this amazing specimen today. Sometimes, uh... Sometimes you can find one that's uh, sleeping. Oh, there he is, right? He's quite asleep. Very tired. They're, these birds are often very tired. They're, some among, they're among the most uh, sleepy birds in the world. This one's dragging his face on the ground because he's so tired. 
these manatees are doing quite well, pretending that they don't even notice me, but obviously they do. It's quite obvious. This is the famous king cobra. Incredibly poisonous. Can grow up to 18 feet long. But what a lot of people don't know or realize about the king cobra is it's entirely lactose intolerant. This beautiful, incredibly dangerous snake cannot eat a single bite of cheese. Very, very dangerous for this king cobra to eat. Even just one slice of American cheddar or whatever kind of cheese you'd like to throw at it, that's your best defense to escape this deadly viper. This very beautiful Galapagos tortoise, an extraordinarily large specimen, um, started singing one day, and the singing was so beautiful that it actually was frozen in time. This particular wild lion was trained, heavily trained, well trained, I might add, uh, to pose in gift store windows and look very friendly. Look at how he's, he's looking so kind and friendly. It's almost like he's winking at you. Yes, that's a good lion. He's looking straight at me because he knows what I think. He knows that I really appreciate him. He can tell. Probably because of what I'm saying right now. He can hear me. He's got quite large ears, you'll note. And uh, usually zebras, though they can't speak English, they can understand it. He knows things I know about animals.